This is such a good idea. It's all in the one pot. Do you know what? This is an alternative Sunday roast. Right. Okay? We've got everything that you want. We've got your beef, we've got your gravy. And instead of the Yorkshire puddings, I'm actually putting on a cobbler topping Ooh. as well. So it's just everything in one pot. You know, it's just dead simple, Lorraine. And it's just packed full of flavour as well. Excellent. Starting with the good. beef. So in this pan here, I've got skirt steak. Now, this is just a really nice, cheap cut, mm -hmm. OK? You can use, you know, your casserole, your braising steak, right. shin of beef, whatever you like. But basically, this sort of uh, cut of meat lends itself to slow cooking. So what I've done, I've actually floured these pieces, right. which will help thicken the, uh, the sauce, the gravy. And then I've just fried them off in batches because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. The, the, oh, worst, the okay. worst thing you can do is overcrowd the pan and the meat kind of starts almost like sweating, you know, and you just kind of stews in its own juices. So, so do we it want a to get, bit of a time. Yeah, a little bit of time. Get the flavour on there. You know, that caramelisation is just going to work so, mm. so well with this. Lovely. Right. In the same pan, we're going to go in with some carrot. I say carrot. Celery, <laughs> carrot. And onion, OK? I wasn't contradicting you. No, no, he knows you know. Things. It's an easy mistake, you know, he the same colours things. and all that, Lorraine, you know? <laughs> um, so just give that a couple of minutes just to start to soften down. Right. OK, and we've got all of these amazing flavours in this mm. pan already. Now, we're going to add some more flavour, so I've got some fresh thyme. You can either pick the leaves off, if you're as lazy as me, chuck them in, in. Because they're easy to, to pull out at the yeah, end yeah, anyway, yeah, OK? A yeah. couple of bay leaves as well. OK. Go in. Just an amazing flavour, right? Good. That goes in, and some butter mushrooms. Okay. okay. And now just the, in whole, you don't cut yeah, them up. Yeah, you can you can okay. chop them up, but basically, what I like to think, bite-sized pieces. Okay. So if your mushrooms are slightly yeah. bigger, then then give them a little bit of a uh, a chop up. Right. So again, give that a few more minutes. We want to start to caramelise these bits and pieces, and then we've got some other flavours. So we've got some Worcester sauce. Ooh, lovely. For a little bit of a kick. Yep. I've got some English mustard. It's going to be lovely and rich. Oh, it certainly mm. is. It's going to be really rich. And by the time it cooks down, just all of those flavours are going to really start to develop. Right, the beef goes back in. Uh-huh. And then we've got our liquids. Now, what I've got here is some ale. Yay! And you want around 400, 500 ml. OK, get that in. That's a good dollop. I'm like, well, I'm you know, any, any leftover, you can, you can drink you it can after the rain. Of course. of course. And then we've got some beef stock. Now, if you didn't want to use the alcohol, then what you can do is just replace it with the equivalent amount of stock. Fine. OK, but the but it gives will really... It does yeah, give we'll it cook out, you know. Flavor, and then yeah. what you do, just give it a little stir. Try and scrape up some of the bits from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Pinch of seasoning goes yep. in. And then you want to turn that down to the lowest temperature, lid on, and let it do its thing for, how for long? a good couple of hours. Right. OK, that really nice... Do you think the nice... longer the better, in a way? The longer it... the better. The flavours will develop. The okay. meat will just really, really tenderise. Now... This is one I've had cooking earlier. Now, look at this meat. You could literally oh, just eat it with a spoon. pull it apart, Lorraine. Yeah. You know, that is Gorgeous. going to be so tender, so amazing. Mm -hmm. But this is my next stage, cobbler okay. topping. Right. OK, this is almost like a cross between a scone and a dumpling. And it's oh, going to suck right. up all the juices. And it's going amazing. to sit on the top of it. Exactly. Mm, so yummy. I've got 240 grams of plain flour. Right. And I've got 100 grams of butter. And I've just literally got my fingers in there. A little bit of work. Yep. Almost sort of resembling breadcrumbs. Yeah. But we're also going to work with some flavours that work really well with beef. Mm -hmm. OK, we've got some fresh thyme. We've got some in there. Let's stick some in there Very as well. Good. We've got some uh, horseradish sauce. I love horseradish sauce. Oh, I mean, that little bit of a kick, you know, mm. when, you, when you eat too much of it, though, and you're not sure so burn from the inside. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Two beaten eggs. Yeah. And then we've got some milk. Now, what I would say, just add a little bit in. You want to make six to eight. Teaspoons. Okay. And is it full fat milk or does it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I, I, I like to use whole milk, but mm. you can use whatever you like. Okay. Now, just add the milk in a little bit of a time. Mm -hmm. You want a kind of looseish consistency, but you still want it to hold itself. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to bring that together. Then what we're going to do is take it over to our pan, and we want to dollop. Oh, you do it like that. These on top. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Oh, so that's very clever. Get them in. Yeah, Don't yeah. pack them too close because they will. They'll spread expand. out. Yeah, they will. Exactly. But they don't have to be the same. It's all... Do you it, know what? You can be rough. They can be rustic, rough as you like, good. Lorraine. Rustic. Right, then what we rustic do... Rustic is better than rough. Grab yourself another egg, a little bit of egg wash. That's really clever. And then what that's going to go into an oven, set 180 gas mark for, mm. for around 30 minutes, just until that cobbler topping's lovely and golden. Great. Going to serve that with a little bit of vegetables. Be perfect. That'd be lovely. Sunday afternoon. Happy days.